One of the most difficult things about learning golf is that your golf club itself actually lies to you. So what do I mean by your golf club lies to you? It can't talk. Well, the golf club just by its design, because it's rigid and it's heavy on one end that needs to strike the ball, it immediately makes you use it like a lever, kind of like a hammer. So it actually sends a signal to you to do something with it that you would never want to do if you want to hit it like a tour pro. Tour pros don't use their golf club like a lever. They actually just simply connect themselves to the mass of the club head through the shaft. It's just a means of holding. The problem is that in anybody, when they pick up the golf club the first time, the most obvious way to move it is to use the muscles in your forearms to try to swing it with your wrists. Oh, I'll just swing the club with my wrists. And of course, if you develop your golf swing with the intent of swinging it with your wrists, you won't have a very good golf swing. That's because a golf swing really isn't a swing. So the shaft and its rigidity and the weight and its design gives false information right out of the gate that you need to know is false no matter what. You have to learn how to move a golf club with your body as if the golf club was like another arm of your body. So you're not really trying to swing the club through the shaft, but you're trying to move the whole system of your body in the club to actually strike the ball. And that is the truth. Once you understand that, you have an accurate, you have an accurate way of, of, of perceiving a golf swing. And perception is everything because learning is intent driven. So if you perceive it incorrectly, all you'll do is get good at doing it incorrectly. The pro is, it takes away the lie. I took away the shaft and I still have the rigidity of the grip. So now I have something that tells me and I can see while I'm using it that I'm actually putting a force that doesn't belong in the motion. The only way to propel something that is attached with the rope is to actually sling it around your body and learn to use your body to make it work. But because the pro has a rigid grip, it forms an angle anytime you try to use leverage. So as you practice using your pro and you learn how to get the angle out of it, you actually learn how to move your body in a way that actually strikes the golf ball for you, if you will. It creates the picture of the golf swing and the movement and shortens the learning curve of your golf swing. It's still, it's still difficult to use a golf club that way. It takes a lot of practice and understanding to get your hands to stop trying to put force on it. But if you know that your golf club is lying to you from the very get-go and you're not supposed to swing it with your hands, then you'll stop trying to do it and you'll be on the way of actually learning a correct golf.